Rade Rade, Hare Krishna, Namaste, and Happy Jamastami. I know Jamastami was yesterday, but I could not get the day off yesterday, so we're going to celebrate it today. And for the special occasion, I decided to do something a little different. So, this is the beginning of the story of my vision of doing this. So, my dear sister gave me one of her old, or her mom's old langas. And I love this langa. Like, I am I love it. I love the work on it. But upon closer inspection, the dupatta and the blouse were just full of turmeric or, like, curry stains. Which happens, you know? Like, things happen. And I'm like, what am I going to do? Because it's so beautiful. And the blouse, I think I can still save. It's still in my closet. The dupatta, I had to throw out. And I tried endless, endlessly to try to find a dupatta to match it. I bought saris, I bought fabric, I've asked people to try to match this, to me, like the skirt to me, and the person who did match it sent me a sari, which was too short, which I'm like, that's fine, I could just cut it and make the dupatta with it, but it just was not working, so I ended up making just some quick clothes for my deities, which you've probably seen them, once you see the skirt, you'll kind of know what I'm talking, the color and outfit, if you follow my deity. Instagram and it's like I don't know what to do like I feel like awful because I want to wear it so bad because I think it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous so basically I found this which I think screams Vrindavan I think that I don't know I just I see the Radha Krishna TV show when I see this and I'm like I bet you if I were here this story this is like my third time recording this video because my first time I literally tripped on the sari as I was draping it for you. And then the second attempt, my hair clip kept popping out. And then we're going to go for it. But anyway, so I'm going to start off by introducing the langa. Now this is a beautiful silk langa. And oh, I'm going to show you my peacock stuff that kept popping out. It probably is in our crooked now. But, you know, I'm dressing for Krishna. I'm not dressing to impress anybody but Lord Krishna and Radharani. My dear Radharani. So, there we go. So, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to first find the palu. And I'm going to... And I've only seen people really do this with um, silk saris, but, you know... I make so many, 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 many mistakes that I don't want there to be a crinkle in it. Especially because I've never done this type of drape before. I just kind of have vision and I'm just going to kind of go with it. So I'm going to kind of like measure. Yeah, to my left side. I'm going to kind of measure where I think it should end. And I'm honestly thinking about like leaving this a little long so I can tuck it in. So I think I'm going to do that for now. And if I have to, I will come back to that monstrosity. Okay, so this looks pretty nice. So far, so far so good. So... You know, maybe I should keep... I should just keep it to where I think it should stay because I'm thinking about it and if I tuck all of this over here where it's supposed to be it might come off a little bizarre like too much fabric okay this is already looking really pretty it's kind of what I've been envisioning now as you notice there is like some tight um filling piling of the strings. This is not perfect. I bought this sari actually from Poshmark, which if you would like $10 off your next purchase at Poshmark, I'm going to hook you up in the description. I believe it's now in India. Anyway, now I'm going to pleat. I should probably, um, I want to save pinning for last in case I decide to change it, but I really don't think I'm going to. I really kind of I really kind of, I really like how this set looks, but I'm going to save it. So I'm thinking 
just because of how the border is and kind of watching it as I'm trying to drape it. I'm thinking because of how heavy the border is, I'm actually going to do pretty thick pleats. Now, if you say, oh, you're holding it weird, you know, there's probably, there is a way better way of doing it. There is, but I have been having joint issues all morning with my hands. And I don't want to risk anything, any more stuff that happens to them. So the pleats might not be perfect, but there's something. They're going to get, they're going to get us through. They know, they, they know what they're doing. Do I know what I'm doing? Not really. So you're gonna, like basically we're gonna be looking like a normal sari from the side or from the front, I kind of mean. Like it's gonna very much look like a half and half sari. And I've also seen um, videos where they do all the pleats they like hook it up here and they do all the pleats in the back. But I just kind of thought like, you know, it would, that kind of reminds me of um, medieval uh, Europe. Like um, the older style gowns that med um, med you'd see in like medieval Europe. And it's like, I really did not want to embody that today. I want it to be like fun, like traditional and fun for my look. Okay, so now we have all of the pleats done. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna kind of like pinch this fabric back here where that border starts and I am going to tuck it in the back. Now, there's different ways to place it. I've seen some front people, friends, some people place it here, and so it gives off this really regal kind of look. I've seen people space out the pleats to kind of give it more of like that illusion effect that it's the whole sari, like just placing them all the way around, like spacing them all out. So it would look like that, and it would be more of like a, like, it would look more of just like a plain sari. But I think I'm going to go with what I was seeing, where all the pleats are just on. I'm going to have to redo some of the pleats. They kind of fell off on me. Sorry if this video is just me gathering my thoughts. Because I have never done this drape before. This is our experiment. So I think I'm going to keep the pleats relatively to the side and kind of like bring out that. But at the same time, I'm thinking I should blend the two fabrics together more. Hmm. Let me see how it looks. I think I'm going to do it like this because I like that look of having this part right here. So I'm going to pin the pleats together. Now, one thing I'm doing is I'm noticing with the way the fabric is, some of the other, it's starting to show the unbordered um, parts of the sari. So, that's fun. So, I'm just kind of like twisting it so it doesn't do that and kind of like flicking it like that. So, it kind of gives off more of that illusion. Okay, so now we have this. This is what's sorry. Getting too far ahead of myself. And I don't want that really to show. Okay, so now we have the first part of our lingot done. I'm gonna show you what the bottom looks like so I can kind of show you what I mean. 
So with the fabric, what it does is kind of flicking out. So that's why I flipped it back. And I'm kind of doing it so it's it's almost exactly half and half. It's half a sari and half the langa. So I've not, I've not seen anybody do it like this, and I think there's a reason why, because it kind of takes away from the funness of the drape. Funness of the drape. Hmm. So I think I'm going to wear it like this. So I think that's still pretty fun. Just trying to figure out where exactly I want to place the pallu. I'm thinking I want to place it over this part. So it kind of like meets up. I think that looks pretty nice. But I also think it looks nice if I did it like that. But I think just for the sake of Jamasmi, I'm going to be more modest. And I'm going to cover up the entirety of my torso area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it or pin the palu up on my shoulder, which is very, very complicated with this really chunky um, border. I'm going to pinch it where it hits the back of my, the back of my blouse. I'm going to pin it into place. So now we have that part done. So now we have to pin the rest of the sari into place. So pinning it on the shoulder. See, I think, oh yeah, it's already turned into the flicky thing. So we're going to it back into place, back into place. It's kind of fun. You know, this is something that you can't do with Western clothing. You can't really like do other, it's really hard to do like very, very, um, it's easy to, like you can dress things up and you can dress things down, but it's sometimes hard to make a totally new outfit out of something. And there we go. Oh. Did it go through? Okay, so here is the finished look. You'll very, I feel very much like a um, somebody from the Mahabharat era or the Vrindavan. I, I should say I feel more of Vrindavan. I feel gopi, like a like a really nice fancy fancy dressed gopi. And I see that there are still puck is already coming loose so i'm seeing that that's going to be a problem so i should probably pin that back here so i'm going to get it as tight as i can around this palu by the way look how long my hair has gotten it touches the top of my tailbone now so basically i always like to pin especially if i'm doing like a different drape. I like to put as many pins in as I feel it's necessary or might end up being necessary because I don't know what's going to be the first thing to pop or what will be the first thing to pop out. And also if you would like a hair routine, my hair routine, I would be glad to do a video on it because my hair is just it's getting so long. It's just absolutely amazing. I never, like, I knew eventually my hair would get this length, but for somebody who's had short hair almost all of their life, this has been an interesting experience. I'm trying to figure out if it's necessary to pin. I mean, everybody I've seen on like Instagram, what they do is they have like a waist belt here to accentuate their waist. But I feel that's really a, a bridally thing type thing to do. And it's like, I'm not a bride. So I think I'm just going to leave it like this. And then when it falls, it'll, I'll let it just kind of like 
will decide naturally because I really don't mind the look when it does that. But anyway, thank you for watching again. Like this has just been a fantastic journey that YouTube has given me. And I'm so happy that I can at least share this with you. Your coral test. But definitely, definitely go be material. But yeah, I'm sorry that I did not upload yesterday for Jamastami, but happy Jamastami again. Bye-bye, Jay Shri Krishna.